from a student uh, to request from a student to um, to talk about inner conversion of prefixed SI units. I don't have a video on my channel yet for that, so here it is. Um, I've snapshotted one, and I've also um, done some pre work, so hopefully this will be efficient. So we got here's the question: A radio technician measures the frequency of an AM radio transmitter. <clears throat> the frequency is blank. What is the frequency in megahertz? Write your answer as a decimal, okay? So I'm gonna show that the mechanics of what I'm doing here with this example. <clears throat> First thing I'm gonna do is interpret the question. And by interpret, I mean I'm gonna make some notes somewhere in my paper about what I'm reading, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. A radio technician measures the frequency of blank. I don't see anything there. Okay, frequency is this. All right, I see something there, frequency is 7731 kilohertz, okay? What is the frequency in megahertz? All right, so that's it. it. Looks like I only have one thing to write here, all right? So the next thing I'm gonna do after I interpret the question, which I've done now in blue, <clears throat> is I'm going to identify the units of the answer. All right, so the units of the answer are write it in megahertz okay so and I think I'm supposed to write that now okay so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write mega hertz right that's actually right here for step two okay next thing I'm to uh, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my layout so my layout is gonna be my picket fence right not very straight boom 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 and, and I have to put my megahertz right here because I'm looking for megahertz in my answer, right? <clears throat> okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write my units, which I just did. There's step number four, okay? After, after I've got that, I'm going to say identify what's going to go with this megahertz, right? Identify the denominator. So I'm going to look at this and I'm going to say, I'm going to come up here to my question stem. I don't see megahertz related to anything at all. But uh, aha, I do see it's related, that, that hertz is common here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to relate this to hertz, and then I'm going to look up what mega means in just a minute, all right? Now that I've got that, I've done number five, I've identified my, I've identified my denominator, there it is, then I'm going to write the units out. All right, so boom, there, does it I do it again. And I'm just going to loop through this. I'm going to keep looping through that until I've, I've got my whole solution laid out, all right? So if I've identified my units, next thing I knew is I need, I need to do is I needed to identify my denominator. So I come back up to my question stem, and I go, oh, there it is. Look at that. Kilohertz. Okay? And since kilohertz is in the denominator here, and it's not in the answer, I'm going to have to write it kilohertz. And now I come up here and say, oh, look at that. This is my measurement. I don't need to relate that to anything, and I don't need those over there. Okay, so let's we've got our solution laid out. Let's write it in. 17731 kilohertz, right? <clears throat> and kilo means 1 times 10 to the 3. That's what kilo means, and I'm going to look that up, right? And mega means 10 to the 6. Okay? So, now that I've got that, I basically have my solution, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this 6 up here to the, make that negative 6. Then I'm going to put these guys together and make this 10 to the minus 3. And then I'm going to say, all right, well, this is going to be 1, 2, 3. So it looks like the answer is 17.731 megahertz. And that is my answer. All right. We'll do another example here in a, in a little bit. I may show these uh, steps again. I may just go do, through, do the steps. But this red over here, I think, is what's key for you. Good luck to you.